Hi, and welcome to this section of the Physics 2 Tutor. And in this section, we're going to cover the topic of latent heat and phase changes. So in the last section, what we talked about was basically the idea that you can have a substance, you can add a certain amount of heat to it, and that substance will, through its specific heat and its mass and the relation that we had, it will increase in temperature. And that's exactly what we calculated the last time. So that works great if you're talking about heating water up, or if you're talking about heating lead up, or if you're talking about heating you know, whatever, wood up. Everything has a different specific heat. Everything's going to have a, a different way it's going to respond to that heat. It's going to increase its temperature. Now what this section is going to talk about is specifically zeroing in on what are called the phase changes. So when you take a block of ice and you put it in a pot and you add heat to it, it's going to melt. When you take water and you boil it and you're going to raise the temperature to the boiling point and eventually that phase change is going to happen. It's going to go to vapor and it's going to escape. That's a phase change. So what we're going to do is learn how to calculate the amount of heat needed to pull off a phase change and we're going to, to find that it's a pretty easy relation and we're going to go from there. The easiest way to illustrate what is going on here is by way of a graph actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a quick little plot. Okay. And over here is going to be the heat Q that we add to some substance. Let's call it you know, water or a block of ice. And here's going to be the temperature. What would happen uh, over here if this guy, let's say this is uh, 0 degrees Celsius. Let's say this is 100 degrees Celsius. So this is the boiling point of water and this is the, the, the freezing point of water. Or alternatively, it's the melting point of water. Let's say you were to start out below freezing, a block of ice in the freezer, and you begin to heat it up. Well, it's as you add heat to it, the temperature is going to increase, you know, linearly. You, you, you'd expect you add heat to it, you go over here in this axis, you're going to add heat to it, the temperature is going to raise, raise, raise. Eventually you're going to actually reach the melting point of the ice. Now what's going to happen there is, you're going to continue adding heat to the block of ice, but you're not going to actually increase the temperature because what's going to happen at the moment of melting, this, this little slab is all at the moment of melting. The energy that you're adding is not going into increasing the temperature, it's going into changing the phase of the ice from solid to liquid. Okay, so the temperature is going to level off right here at the melting point until all of the ice is completely melted to liquid. Okay, and then the temperature is going to continue increasing because now you have liquid water. So just to make it totally clear, this region right here, you actually have ice. And you're increasing the temperature of that block of ice until it reaches the melting point of ice. Okay, This region right here uh, is when you change ice to liquid water. Okay, liquid water. So this is the phase change. You're adding energy to it, but you're not increasing the temperature during the melting process. You're, the, the energy is going into breaking those bonds down and pulling off the phase change. In between here and, let's say here, when we reach the, uh, the uh, boiling point of water, you actually have water, liquid water, as you might expect. And the temperature of that water goes up just like you might expect when you put a pot of water on to boil. But as soon as it reaches the boiling point, the temperature no longer increases of this water. The, uh, what happens is the energy going into it just goes into breaking those bonds with the liquid water and liberating that water as steam. Okay? Right? So what you have here is temperature increase to get to the boiling point and then everything plateaus and then eventually after you've reached steam, the steam you can of course make hotter and hotter and hotter. You can make steam you know, very, very hot. So what you have in this region right here 